Hello everyone. I am so excited to be able to do a drawing with you today. I thought it would be a great idea if we created one of my favorite animals, the eagle. The eagle is a symbol of courage, strength, and pride. I thought this would be a great idea because it's so important to remember how proud we are to be part of this strong community. Let's take a look at how we're going to get started. For this project, we are going to start by drawing the body of our eagle. I am going to position my hand where my fingers are facing the bottom corner of the paper. Then I'm going to take a pencil and slowly go around and trace the sides of my fingers. The best way to do this is to hold your pencil straight up and down, not at an angle, and to basically rub the side of the pencil along the sides of your fingers. It's important to go slow so that you don't make any mistakes. It is also important to press light until it's right. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can just use an eraser or your finger to rub that line away. Now that I finished tracing my hands, I'm going to go over it a little bit darker so that we can see it and so that I can make any little bumps or imperfections a little bit neater. I'm making sure to go nice and slow. That way I have control over what my hand is doing. We are doing a great job. I love how we're all taking our time as we draw and trace over our hand. Now that I'm just about finished, I'm going to begin working on the head and the neck of our eagle. I'm going to leave the space open where my wrist would be because that is where the neck will be. Instead of making a straight line connecting it, I'm going to be making a zigzag line. I don't want it to be too perfect because I want it to look more realistic. So some of my V shapes will be wider and some will be smaller and some will be narrower. I'll even make some curves to look more realistic. Next, for the head, I'm going to go up towards the top of the paper and curve down to make a big rainbow line for the shape of the head. Next, for the beak, I'm going to make a straight line coming towards the side of the paper and curving down for the front of the beak. I'm going to then start with that line and go back up into the shape of the head so that I can make the top part of the beak. We know an eagle has two parts to their beak, a top and a bottom. I'm going to connect the top of the beak down and curve around the mouth 
to make the side of the beak where it touches its head. I'm going to put a little line down by the front of the mouth and connect those two lines together to make the bottom part of the beak. If your beak looks a little different, that's okay. Remember, every eagle will look a little different and every drawing is supposed to look a little different. That's what makes art special. I'm going to make a little circle for the nostril and then a curved S line that looks like an S laying down for its eyebrow. For the eye, I'm going to make a circle touching that line with a little line next to it to look like the eyelid of our eagle and then put a circle in the center and color it in for the pupil. The pupil is the black part of the eye and we have a pupil as well in each of our eyes. Now, I'm going to start at the bottom and in between my pointer finger and my thumb, I'm going to put a curved line. This is going to make the legs of our eagle. I'm going to make two straight lines to look like the number 11. And then a curved line like we did for the beak for one toe and a curved line for the other. And I'm gonna repeat that for the other foot. Excellent. Now we can work on some of the background. I'm going to make my eagle look like it's standing on a branch. So I'm going to make a straight line that goes down by its feet from side to side on the paper. I didn't draw the line through my eagle because then that wouldn't look right. My eagle's not see-through. I like to make my branches look realistic with smaller branches so I usually make some lines and an oval just like this to make it look like a smaller branch. I also like to put swirly lines and curved lines on my trees and whenever I draw something that looks like wood to make it look more realistic. These lines make it look like wood because it mimics or copies the texture of what a tree or bark would look like. I can't wait to see what your drawings look like. I bet they're fantastic. What do you think I'm drawing next? A sun. This is the way I make suns because I like to color in around the sun rays. All right, I grabbed my Sharpie. What do you think I'm doing next? You're right, I'm going to trace over all of my pencil lines. Remember, you don't need a Sharpie to do this. There are other materials we can use and I can show you those at the end of this video. Notice I'm going very slowly as I trace over all of my lines. I don't want to make any mistakes with this Sharpie because I won't be able to erase them. If I do make a mistake, that's going to be okay too 
I can use my imagination and creativity to turn that mistake into something else. I'm going over every little detail. I don't want to forget any of the lines I've drawn because when I go to color, I might not see them anymore. This eagle sure looks brave. Look at his expression on its face. Remember, if I went a little too fast for you in this video, you can always go ahead and replay this session as many times as you want and stop it as many times as you want when the link is posted. I'm almost done with my eagle and it looks great. I love how I took my time and made sure to cover every line. Now I'm going to finish part of my background. Once I finish my background, I'm going to show you some materials you can use if you don't have a black sharpie. You can use any black marker, a black crayon, a darker colored crayon if you don't have a black, or you can even use a dark colored colored pencil. Any of these options would work for you. Now it's time for us to begin coloring. You are going to want to gather any sort of coloring materials you may have at home. I use the colors blue, black, gray, yellow, orange, and brown. You can use any colors you want. I'm going to show you how I colored mine, but I'm going to speed it up a bit so that you can begin coloring yours as soon as you're ready. Let's take a look at my finished art piece. You'll notice I drew clouds and colored in the sky a little bit. I pressed darker with the brown crayon where I think shadows would be. I pressed with a gray crayon very lightly where the white part of the eagle's head is to create shadows as well. Shadows in art are part of the value scale. I also blended two colors in the wood 
to make it darker than the eagle so it looks different. I can't wait to see what details you put in your pictures.